Alright guys, so I already recorded this video once, and I wrote the scripts uh, that we're going to be making in this video. And I forgot to uh, enable my microphone, therefore the video had no sound at all. So, instead of rewriting it, I'm just going to show you what I did, and you can copy the code if you'd like, and we'll be good. So, we made two scripts. We made health and damage. Um, and the whole point in the damage script is to show you how to access the health script from another object or uh, from a, from another um, or as another component on the same thing. It's completely up to you. Um, <clears throat> so we put both on the player. Usually damage would just go on whatever you want to damage the player or to be able to cause damage. Um, and we'll open up the script. One thing you need to do, you need to uh, tag the player as player. And if it's not available in that little menu, you go down here to add tag. And then you can create one and just name it player. I won't be doing that. Um, so in here, we'll start with the health script. We made two variables, health and it's a float and max health and when the game starts it sets your health equal to the max health so you're starting off with your full health then we said if the health is less than or equal to zero we set the position back to the original starting position which was um, zero to zero, and the reason I put it at two is so he doesn't clip through the ground, but rather he will fall and hit the ground and be completely fine. And we reset the rotation, and we set health back to 100. This is just so you don't lose the same camera. If you don't want to do this, um, I was commenting it out. If you want to destroy the player, you can uh, obviously, obviously don't put the slashes because that just makes a comment. Just put um, destroy this that game object, and that's all you would have to do. And then when their health is less than zero, it would destroy this entire player here and everything attached to it. But I don't want to do that. So, then we have this fixed update, and this updates on a certain interval. This does it every frame, this does it on a time interval, and I think it's uh, either 50 times a second or 500 times a second, one or the other, or something like that, I have no idea. But, I set this to a very low number, it's the fourth decimal place in. So you have your tenth, hundredth, thousand, ten thousand, one, ten thousand, and you gotta put the F for float of a health is added for every time that your health is less than your max health. This is your health regeneration right here. And if health is greater than max health, you wanna set it back equal to max health because you don't want your player having more than your maximum health. And the reason I put else if here, or the reason I put in an if statement at all so it doesn't try to regenerate health or um or go over basically so yeah if it's more than max health it won't be getting to this anyway and if you have more than um if it's less than max health then it'll try this statement since i put else and uh yeah so if it's less than max health, it'll run true and add that amount. Both of these run false, nothing happens. Again, put this under fixed update. It's written the same way as this, just put fixed under it so you can copy and paste it. Um, other than that, um, I did not set the max health in here. I set it in the editor right here, which I think is the best way to do it. Since you can use this script on any object. Now, 
in the damage script, we made it's literally three lines of code an if statement, and one statement, string player health. And if you weren't, if you were doing it from the object that you have, you don't need this line here. So if you just put git component, it has to be on the same object. So if it's right here, if it's in its children or its uh, parent object, like if you set it on the camera, it will not find uh, your health script. So it's easier to just set the tag, and this is where we use the tag. So you go here, game object find with tag player. So that'll that'll take it down to our player here. And then get component health. And you gotta keep in mind all this stuff here is components. So you get the health component, and then we get the variable from the health component, which is health, right here. And we take away one. And I put input.get key, so this will run every frame since it's in the update function. If you put it key down, it'll just remove one at a time. But anyway, this will work. You can put this on anything. And if you press um, Q, I don't know if I said E a minute ago. If you press Q, like I could set it on the cube, I could set it on the ground, directional light, I can set it on anything, even though I just put it on the player. It'll still remove one health. So if I go down here and lock the editor, I'm going to show you real quick. So I'm running the game. You can see it's running like normal. And you look down here, you press Q. If I hold it, it destroyed us because I didn't save it after I changed the script. Gotta save it. Okay, yeah, I, remo I removed it. So that was showing you what it does if you uh, do destroy, because I didn't save it and I put the destroy game object here. So if we play it now, now that I saved it, if I go over here, it's not locked in here for some reason. All right, health while we're watching. Go over here, run out of health. Puts me in the spawn. I did not put a, uh, a rigid body on this character and that's why he's not falling. But you get the gist. It uh, reset our health to 100 and then it continued to strong because I still have the key in, but yeah. Max health is still the same, nothing else changed. So if you want to set it like that and you have variables such as inventory and you want to reset it, you have to do that manually using the git component. Um, and that's about it. That's all there is to it. See you guys in the next video.